Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be making a three-piece set of gold glam vases and I'm starting off with these glass bowls that I purchased from Dollar Tree. I'm using this blue painter's tape to make three different designs on each vase. For vase number two's pattern, I'm kind of slanting the painter's tape to the side. For vase number three, I'm kind of doing like a crisscross pattern. Okay, so now I'm outside and I'll also be spray painting these glass candle holders, which I already cleaned and removed the stickers from the bottom. And I also have these two pink trinket trays that I purchased from the Dollar Tree as well, which I already cleaned and removed the stickers from these as well. And I'll be using my gold metallic spray paint that I purchased from Home Depot. FYI, I'm spray painting these items with a very light hand, so I'm kind of pulsing in between each spray because this is glass and I don't want the spray paint to run down the side slash not fully cover all of the spaces. So far so good. All of my items are looking fully covered after one coat of spray paint and now it's time to remove all the tape from my vases. Of course, spray paint ended up getting inside of my vases, but that's okay because I will show you guys in a second what I did to clean that up. And there is some leakage and I will show you guys a little later on in the video how I covered that up. I'm using some of this nail polish remover to remove the spray paint that got inside my vases. I'm using some of this Mod Podge and this silver glitter to create a mixture to glam up my vases. I'm applying this mixture to all of my items. This is what my vases are looking like so far. And now I'm using some of this diamond wrap to cover up the spaces where the spray paint leaked. I'm using strips of threes of this diamond wrap for this vase. For this next vase, I'm using strips of twos of this diamond wrap. I'm 
Now I'm using one strip for this last base, but some spaces will have two strips. I have no particular pattern on where I'm placing this diamond wrap. I'm just simply going with the flow. I'm using my blue painter's tape to help me stabilize my bases. And next, I'm using these clear acrylic vase fillers that I purchased from Amazon to finish covering up the leakage from the spray paint. I'll be repeating the same exact steps for my other vases. Now it's time to work on the trays and the candle holders and for the trays I'm just simply gluing the gems around the top of the trays. For the candle holders I'm simply just gluing a gem to the middle, the bottom and then the top. Now it's time to put all three of my vases together. For this last step, I'm using three of these circle mirrors and also three of these LED push lights. And once I get done with my setup, I will be right back to show y'all the finished look. I think these turned out absolutely amazing. These vases can be used for a multitude of things and they can also be turned upside down as well to give them a different look. But tell me what y'all think. Please like, comment, and share. And if you're curious to see what else I can create, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss my next video.